Do you want to know what weapon is really the most powerful? Hey guys, welcome to our channel. So today we're going to talk about what handheld pistols, rifles, and assault rifles are capable of. Some of them can penetrate armor. So let's look at a few examples for the most powerful handheld weapon. For example, the absurdly large gun with an odd name, punt gun, is actually a very dangerous weapon against birds. It was made to kill as many birds as possible at a long distance. One shotgun shell can weigh up to one pound, and one shot can kill up to 50 ducks. The name of this incredible weapon comes from the two words punt, meaning a flat-bottomed boat, and gun. Overall, this weapon is made to be fired from a punt boat because of its huge kick and the difficulty of holding it in your hands. It is between 8 and 13 feet long and weighs up to 33 pounds. Now, at the end of the 19th century, the demand for duck sharply rose. That was because of the new trend of preparing duck in restaurants, as well as the huge popularity for women's hats, decorated with feathers and even stuffed birds. A group of punt boats would approach a flock of ducks from different directions, suddenly scare them, and then open fire on the birds from different sides. The ducks had almost no chance of escaping. The daily take for a successful group of professional hunters armed with punt guns could be up to 500 birds. Of course, nature couldn't sustain this disbalance for a long time, and the populations of ducks and other birds started to rapidly decrease. After just 50 years of use, punt guns were banned in many countries as inhumane weapons that caused permanent damage to the environment. In some countries, like the UK, there was only a limit placed on the caliber of punt gun, and some were still used in the late 20th century. By the way, you can see this weapon in the movie Tremors 4, The Legend Begins where it is used to shoot an underground monster. The famous 1887 Winchester shotgun from Terminator 2 is an excellent weapon at close range. The problem is the need to constantly reload. One day while filming, Arnold Schwarzenegger almost broke three fingers trying to reload with one hand. In the 1970s, the US was developing several automatic shotguns to provide more firepower in close combat. The AA-12, was developed by Maxwell Ackeson, who developed their first automatic weapon in 1972. This development saw combat in Vietnam, where American soldiers were extremely successfully used various shotguns in jungle warfare. Its advantage was its fire rate, about 300 rounds a minute, and not needing to manually pump the gun before the next shot. But that was canceled out by the recoil. Over the next 20 years, Atkinson would improve their development. The last issue was removed as Atkinson sold the rights in 1987 to Military Police Systems, Inc. in Tennessee. Its engineers spent almost 18 years to lower the recoil, and they lowered it by 90%. Now the impulse is gathered in a special inertial recoil mechanism and can be used by self-cocking shutters. Thanks to its destructive potential, this shotgun will take out any mid-sized building. It's no mistake, it was featured in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So maybe you're imagining a pistol that has no equal. Of course, it's the anti-tank Thunder 50 BMG pistol. In a race for the largest and most powerful weapon, Americans made this interesting hunting pistol. This single-shot weapon looks futuristic and strange. Its bullets resemble real rounds wider than a man's arm. At close range, it can destroy a tank, but you do have to aim at its weak spot. The Thunder 50 BMG is equipped with a muzzle brake as well as a hydraulic barrel recoil system, which is rare for pistols. This reduces the recoil by about 20%. It's unclear how much it helps the shooter, since the muzzle energy of this hand cannon is 15,500 foot-pounds. While firing, a flame erupts from the cut compensator, which can stretch 15 feet away. If fired incorrectly, this pistol can break both of the shooter's arms. That's why it isn't used in real firefights and is only interesting for collectors or fans of firearms. Now, the most powerful revolver in the world is the Siliski System Revolver. 
in the later 80s, Adolf Zaliski started experimenting which charges to increase a gun's power. He found some results that didn't really satisfy him. Adolf Zaliski knew the owner of K. Pfeiffer Special Arms, Klaus Pfeiffer, and technologist Otto Zeller, who were in his hometown, Feldkirch. The Austrian company spent two years developing the Zaliski System Revolver, and they had finished their first model in the spring of 1995 that was tested in Vienna. It was given to the client who noted the company's perfect and accurate work. The unloaded revolver weighs 11 pounds and has a total length of 18.5 inches and a barrel length of 10 inches. The revolver has no mechanism to reduce recoil, so firing without bracing is almost impossible. In the best circumstances, it would fly out of your hands, and in the worst, it would break your wrists. So you won't be able to fire from the hip like Clint Eastwood. The muzzle energy is 6,230 foot-pounds. In comparison, a Makarov pistol's is 300 foot-pounds. It uses super-powerful 600 Nitro Express bullets. People who shoot this weapon think it's an adventure. Controlling it while firing is only possible by simultaneous use of arm and back muscles. The recoil tries to rip the weapon out of your hands. However, thanks to its heavy weight and recoil compensator, it only flies at 45 degrees. But the kick that comes from it is fairly noticeable and painful. The Cord machine gun was made as a powerful machine gun to support offensive and defensive infantry operations. It is comfortable and comparably light. Even though a civilian has never seen the cord up close, this weapon is impressive because of its appearance looking more like a cannon than a machine gun. Its variety and usability is provided by its ability to be installed on various platforms, vehicles, and helicopters. Advanced design choices let the designers significantly increase the ergonomics, safety, and operational use of the weapon. It is unique thanks to it having a sniper scope and excellent balance. Hitting the target is pretty easy. The quartz rounds are also special. They have a steel core and also are made in a way so that they create unavoidable pressure where they hit. Thanks to this, they can easily penetrate armor, a brick wall, any type of bulletproof vest or helmet by several millimeters. Combat experience around the world confirms its stable reliability in various climate conditions. The RPG-28 Klyukva is a reactive anti-tank rocket launcher with tandem munition. In this case, the RPG expands like a reactive anti-tank grenade. Historically, single-use handheld grenade launchers are called grenades to simplify the description of grenade launchers as ammo, not as weapons. The RPG-28 Klyukva is, in many ways, traditional for the Soviet Russian school in design components, and performance. But an important difference is the increased penetrative capabilities achieved by increasing the caliber. The first RPG-28s were demonstrated to the public in 2007. The launch device is a monoblock tube made from fiberglass. The butt of the launcher is closed by a rubber cap that is destroyed upon firing. The RPG-28 has a tandem, shaped charge projectile that can penetrate dynamic defenses of armor over 35 inches thick. Its targeting range is 1,000 feet. The RPG-28 reactive grenade provides reliable destruction to existing and future tanks, including those armed with attached and built-in active defenses. Because of its unique qualities, reliability, power, amazing accuracy, and unsurpassed penetration, the RPG-28 has been called the tank killer among specialists. Well, that's all for today. Be sure to leave a like, comment, let me know which one of these weapons you liked the most, which one you'd like to actually fire. And uh, don't forget to subscribe too. We'll see you next time.